Good day, First Institutional. These are your announcements for Sunday, March 1st, 2015. We're marching into this new month with a series of great upcoming events for you to take note of. This Tuesday, all women are invited to attend the monthly women's meeting and fellowship. You'll get information on the upcoming women's retreat and planning for women's weekend, as well as a great devotional word. Join us at 630. Our look into faith values and beliefs continues this Wednesday in Bible study. We started the Why Faith series with a look at God and the creation. This week we'll ask the question, will the real God please stand up? You can join us in the middle of the day or evening. pre day prayer begins at 1130 a.m. followed by Bible study at noon. Or come out for prayer worship and the word on Wednesday beginning at 630. For our children and youth, you're launching into the new curriculum, Explore the Bible. So parents, get them ready by downloading the app today from Google or iTunes. Wednesday is also our corporate prayer and fasting day from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you'll want to pay close attention to this week's prayer focus. You can connect with our prayer ministry by writing your request on the tear-off form in your bulletin and leaving it on the altar in the prayer bowl. You can also send a direct message through the website or join our corporate prayer Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. by calling the number 602 258 3998 and the access code is 015504. We're celebrating marriage God's way. Our annual marriage weekend kicks off on Friday with a couple's fun night, followed by workshops on Saturday, facilitated by Pastor James and the Reverend Sheila Harris, and our special celebration of National Black Marriage Sunday with both Pastor Stewart's bringing the preach word. Registration is $50 per couple or $25 for an individual. And the deadline to register is this Tuesday. This event is open to all married and engaged couples, so visit our website, www.fibcast.org, for more information. You're needed center stage in our Acts for Christ drama ministry. Rehearsals are underway for the Easter production, 12 Angry Disciples, and we're in need of set and prop designers, as well as stagehands. Rehearsals are held each Saturday. So for more information, please contact Pastor Paula Forte. There's still time to register as a tribute for the first annual Hunger Games, taking place next weekend. Our children and youth are collecting money and toiletry items for young people in developing countries, and districts are competing for great prizes. For more information, visit our website, see Pastor Paula, or check in with a Flight 11 crew member. The Hunger Games is a 30-hour famine. March Madness comes to FIBC on the 26th, as the Young Adult Ministry hosts its annual 3-on-3 basketball tournament. Get your brackets ready because these teams are ready to hit the floor. For more information on this all-ages event or to register your team, shoot on over to our website. We want to see you on the court on March 26th. The donation bin is out and candy is the commodity of choice. We're collecting donations for the church picnic and Easter egg hunt. Candy and plastic eggs, please. So bring your donations next Sunday and place it in the Welcome Center bin. Our goal is to stuff 2,000 eggs for our annual church picnic and Easter egg hunt taking place on March 28th at Encanto Park. Just one. Just one. Just one. Can you imagine what this sanctuary would look like if each one of us would bring just one person with us to church? One coworker, one neighbor, just one friend. We would grow the kingdom. And that's what I want to challenge you to think about as we move closer and closer to Easter. Think about that one coworker, friend, or neighbor that you want to invite with you to church. Then Pray about that person that you want to invite. You're going to come yourself and bring them with you. There are lots of opportunities before Easter. We have our church picnic with the Easter egg hunt. We have our Monday, Thursday play. And we have our three resurrection services. Each one reach just one. Not the whole neighborhood, not your whole office. Just one. Just one.